Hi, you're here at MacGuffinPodcast.com watching some exclusive content. We're here to introduce the lightning round, a new segment you're going to see here a lot. I'm joined by... Henry McComas. And you all know me, John Pornova. What? Famous what? from the MacGuffin Podcast. And the way we do the lightning round is off camera, other MacGuffineers are going to be throwing out topics, and we have one minute to, t to discuss. And if we hear the buzzer, it's over. New topic. I have one quick question. <laughs> Yeah. So what's the rules on like profanity and stuff? Fuck yes, we like profanity. So I can say things like clitori. I don't know what that is. Oh, is your... <laughs> let's, let's turn this off. On the lightning round, we don't appreciate phones being on. Sorry about that. Ooh, someone's not guesting for a while. <laughs> All right, let's do this. All right, lightning round. Uh, your favorite character who is extremely profane. Randall from Clerks. Brody. Any Kevin Smith character I'm fine with. I am fine with Kevin Smith is the best person at just making poetry out of profanity. And Affleck. And making poetry out of Affleck. Oh, okay, yeah, that's true. So I thought you meant, what did Affleck do with profanity? <laughs> well, he, I mean, he swears, yeah. In the back of a Volkswagen. That's true, but he didn't really swear. He sort just, of, uh, yeah, he went off on he implied Mr. Things. Lee. But, uh, no, I just think Randall's great, because he'll just speak his mind, rip into anybody about anything. There's that famous scene where he's listing off the porno titles. Like, come on, that's profanity used very well. I in front of a little kid, no less. Randall is great, because whenever he talks, Dante is not talking. And you don't like Dante? Not at all. I love Dante. I'm like the biggest Kevin Smith fan boy in the world but Dante should not talk really he I think all the time. I think Dante represents humanity Dante represents me Dan and you're hating on me Dante is to me as Pinocchio is to Brandy like he just oh, whining man, all the time that is harsh <laughs> he wants to be a real boy most interesting film for the rest of 2010 from this point on in 2010, what's coming up? Uh, the Town, directed by Ben Affleck. That's the most interesting movie coming out. I love Gone Baby Gone, and I think the trailer for The Town looks awesome. Vampires suck. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> You're a big uh, Friedberg Seltzer fan, are you? No. You know how we feel about them in these parts. Yeah, I'm not serious at all. I'd have to say um, the movie that threw me for a loop was Inception. No, the rest of the year. Inception's been released. Oh, for the rest of the year? Totally yeah. Tron Legacy. Like, hands down. Okay, it looks very good as well. I'm kind of nervous about this whole it's been 30 years since the original thing. Yeah, but <laughs> light bikes. It's like the coolest version of Snake ever. You're right. <laughs> okay, so wait. If you're in a fight with somebody, who would win? Someone on a hoverboard or the person on the light bike? Uh, the hoverboard. Okay. Because Michael J. Fox is really cool. Awesome. I agree with that. Back to Future Part 2, most underrated sequel of all time. Yeah. Maybe we'll get that as a topic, and we already answered it. There you go. Lightning round. The shark still looks fake. Yep. How about most overrated sequel of all time? The most overrated sequel of all time? Shit. I can't. Uh, I'm, just, I'm thinking of good ones. I don't know. What's a bad sequel that people really liked? The Second Coming of Christ? Like, I think that was kind of <laughs> overrated. Oh. <laughs> John's not going to have any part of that. <laughs> Most overrated sequel? Shit. I don't know. Do people like Jaws 3? I don't know. Is that a sequel, though? <laughs> really? Because, like, no, yeah. that, that gets into it's series. In, it's in the series. No, no, no. A, se a sequel is any part of a series. Overrated sequel? Shit. So then you consider the second installment of a trilogy a sequel? Of course. All right. Then The Lord of the Rings 2, whatever that was called. Oh, but that's Fellowship a great movie. No. no. Two Towers is the second Two one. Uh, it was all it's boring. Movie. That's why I'm stoked for Hobbit. It takes everything <laughs> in the Lord of the Rings trilogy and condenses it into one story. But it's still two movies. So it's not They're three long. hours long. It's not boring. Two three hour long movies. Uh, it, right now it's no movies because there's no <laughs> bank. <laughs> Man, that was a good one. We didn't know anything. <laughs> no. Lightning round. Where are you? <laughs> So far. Worst movie of the year so far is Cabin Fever 2 Spring Fever. So bad it went straight to DVD and didn't make any money. So we're doing straight to DVD picks. Any Any movie. Um, just any movie this year. What's the worst of the year? I just happen to have watched that movie because I liked the first Cabin Fever. You know, Spencer would say this is really hard for me because I kind of like every movie ever made. So I'm trying to... <laughs> I'm, <laughs> Definitely. Was that this year? Yeah. See, I have no... If you ask me, like, worst movie of the year, I'd say the best. That came out in, like, 96, so... 
Um, uh, theatrically, I would say I mean, it might be a cop out for me. I don't know, but overall, Cabin Fever Two was just. Shit. I'd say Cabin Fever Two had some of the best sixty seconds, opening sixty seconds ever. Okay, the opening scene <laughs> is really good, and all the scenes with Giuseppe Andrews as Deputy Winston are good. Unfortunately, yeah. it's ten minutes in an hour and a half movie. Yeah, that's an awful hour and a half. I cannot answer this question because I can't <laughs> think of anything bad. <laughs> Clash of the Titans came out this year. Oh, Clash of the Titans. <laughs> Best HBO TV series. Wait, can we go back? No. Nope. Alice in Wonderland. Horrible. Best HBO TV series. Um, Six Feet Under. Next. Oh, I haven't watched a lot of them. Six Feet Under. Next. Uh, I've never seen The Wire. I've never seen all of The Sopranos. Six Feet Under. I've never Next. seen Six Feet Under. <laughs> I've never seen True Blood. Uh, that was the worst movie. Oh, the of Best the HBO year. TV show, Tales from the Crypt. Six Feet Under. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Tales from the Crypt is the best of all those anthology shows. Like, I like The Outer Limits. I like, totally. uh, you know, Tales from the Dark Side. But Tales totally. from the Crypt was so good. The twist endings. I think know. Twilight Zone has to take the best, but... Um, Modern, maybe. Yeah, Tales from the Crypt definitely yeah. changed storytelling, I'd say. Yeah, you always got some boobs and some gore. I mean, that was the first totally. TV show that took advantage of HBO. Arnold Schwarzenegger was a director. Michael J. One of the Fox episodes. was a director. Yeah. I mean, there's all sorts of crazy stuff. Yeah, Crypt all the way. Danny Elfman redoing the Simpson theme for it. <laughs> if you listen to it, it's the same damn song. Really? Huh. I'll have to rewatch it. I looked at the buzzer too. <laughs> the worst Michael Bay movie. The worst Michael Bay movie? I haven't even seen, but it's Transformers 2. <laughs> Oh, I haven't seen it, but I can definitely agree. Can we do best Michael Bay movie? Because Bad Boys 2 was amazing. Oh my god, okay, Bad Boys 2 would be above Transformers 2 for me. As Are far you as the serious? Worst. Bad Boys 2 was awful. There was an SUV driving through like Colombia, Puerto Rico, some Spanish speaking uh, place. It was, it was awful. Same thing. It was so bad. Oh my god. When he's like threatening the kid with the gun, like, what are you gonna do to my daughter? Like, that when they had insane. the Rastafarians and the cameras going through the bullet holes and whatnot. Oh, so stupid. <laughs> you ain't seen Bad Boys 2. The, it cuts, Martin Lawrence is like, oh, look at that. And then it's some rats fucking. That's Bad Boys when 2. When they're in the middle show. of the KKK and the bullet. and the, that, that was awesome. Michael Bay is the only director who would let his directing credit be over top of a flaming cross. Well, I think we're going too far by calling Michael Bay a director. <laughs> You're sitting here defending Bad Boys 2. Awesome. <laughs> but not because of... Okay. God damn Aliens it. Aliens land on Earth and they've never heard of movies. Which is the first one you show them? Taboo 1. Ooh. <laughs> they've never heard of movies and they need to know what a movie is? Back to the Future. Really? I don't know. That's a perfect encapsulation of a movie. Great script, great uh, direction. <laughs> you know, special effects. They'll get special effects from that. They'll get uh, a little bit of complex storytelling, I mean, but nothing too crazy. You could say Hot Tub Time Machine and they get the same damn thing. Do you not like Back to the Future? You're putting Back to the Future on the same level as Hot Tub Time Machine? Because if, thing... if that's any level other than time travel, it's not the same level. The only thing cooler about Back to the Future was that he got to date his mom. <laughs> Outside of that, like... No... So you're saying any movie that fulfills this fantasy you have of dating your mom Mom, that's the only good thing you can find in one of the greatest movies of all time? I'm going to take that as a slander, sir. <laughs> okay, I'd say Apocalypse Now, the original cut, not Redux. You're right, Redux, don't show the aliens that. They will fall asleep during the French plantation scene. True. Yeah. But I'm not going to disagree with you. I don't hate on, you know, good things like you do. <laughs> <laughs> that's what did you rude, think sir. of the Karate Kid uh, remake? I never watched the Karate Kid remake because it looked like the worst thing ever. I will watch the original because it is awesome and it is a great film and fuck Jaden Smith pretty much. Um, I will only talk bad about movies I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> and the Karate Kid remake was a good film. Oh, no way. Jackie Chan cried and it almost made me cry. Really? Yes. So it was in as dramatic of a scene as when Mr. Miyagi is drunk and is Daniel finds right, out about his dead This is my thing family. about Mr. Miyagi. If we're going to talk Mr. Miyagi, an Oscar nominated let's talk actor in a so called Kid kids one. movie. We never saw Mr. Miyagi fight. And Karate Kid he 1 He kicked Johnny's ass and all the other kids when they're dressed like skeletons. It went to black. It faded to black. It didn't show it. Bam, it was like, Mr. Bam. Miyagi, black. Bam. There you go. That's all that happened. Jackie Chan, you actually see some ass whipping. And you I think that's Jackie why Chan I like it so much cuz I love watching grown men beat up little kids <laughs> maybe that's why you like cop out oh wait the kid kicked him the nuts never mind yes it's true what film are you most embarrassed to like 
Film I'm most embarrassed to like. Waterworld. Uh, really? See, I, I don't. I love that movie. <laughs> I don't hate Waterworld, but. Uh, she shit. beats a woman with the oar. That's so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, there's movies that I like more than others. Like, I guess it's kind of embarrassing for me to say that I think Dumb and Dumber is a better made film than 2001, but... Uh... Wow. <laughs> Back to the Future, Aliens. This is the best movie in the world. <laughs> By the way, can I follow that with Dumb and Dumber? <laughs> 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 I would not show the aliens. I think it's a great film. It's one of the only movies that I've watched I back to back to back. It's genius because they would be too afraid to attack us because you keep on recommending movies to them. <laughs> they just hop up in their ship and turn right back around. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But come on, Dumb and Dumber. People like Dumb and Dumber. Uh, yeah, okay. Like, no one's going to say they like it more in 2001 except for me, but people like Dumb and Dumber. They're doing this thing back there. I don't know. <laughs> no, that, that means, means, I thought they I were saying keep talking. I think it means talking. stop talking about Dumb and Dumber. Wrap it up. Oh, the lightning is struck. Wrap we it are up. fried. <laughs> um, yeah, so I guess we're cooked. We are uh, cooked. <laughs> that's it for the lightning round this week. I'm John. I'm Henry McComas. We'll see you next time. Email us at mcguffinpodcast.com. And then we'll see you. <laughs> Lightning round. <laughs>